Hello everyone. Today's video is the full disassembly of the slide on the CZ P10F. You need to remove the slide from the gun. You need to remove the string and spring rod and the barrel. Now you need to remove the firing pin assembly. You will see that on my slide I remove the firing pin block. I find the trigger to be a lot smoother. I know some people are safety freaks, but I do that to all my guns just for a better trigger. But anyhow, to remove the back plate, it's the same with or without the firing pin block. You can move that assembly down from pushing down here or pushing down there. It's going to loosen up the tension and you can remove that back plate. There you go. There is not much spring tension here. So here is the firing pin. Here is the block. And it consists of three items. If you remove it, it will be very hard to put back in. So I suggest you do not remove it. You have no reason to remove it. To remove the firing pin from the assembly, you need something sturdy, like the slide, and you need to relieve pressure or to create pressure on the firing pin to remove the caps. And doing so, you push on the spring down and you remove the two caps. Nothing special. People who are used to Glock, Organic or many striker fire will see it is the same. Now you can remove the spring, you can swap to different tension springs if you want to affect the gun, recoil, and so on and so forth. And here is the firing pin. That's it, that's simple for the firing pin. Now we want to remove the extractor. For this, you need to remove the pin inside. It can only be removed one way, going down into the slide. This hole here is much bigger than this one here. So you want to take a punch and push through here. So you need some good punch, a block, it could be tape or anything, and a hammer. I find out on the CZ P10F that the first time you remove any pin on that gun, and that could be here as well, it's a bit tight, but the second and third time and so on, it's easier. It does not loosen up much after that, it's just the first time, it's pretty tight. So there is a spring right here, you want to put your thumb on it, remove your punch, and then you can remove the extractor. And the spring. And that is it for the slide, unless you want to remove the sides. Now it's time to rebuild the slide, starting with the extractor. Before we put anything in, you want to locate that pin that holds the extractor and you want to start it. And then we will hammer it down. There. Not too much just to start it, and then, as you can see, I went a little bit too far, no biggie. There you go. That should give us plenty of space. Spring first, in the back. When you install the extractor, you have a small extension into the extractor here. It will not allow you to put the extractor into that slide here. So you have to go forward, push it in, and back. And you can pull your slide with it. See? Back in. Back in. And back. 
if you push too much to the back, the extractor is going to get in contact with the slide. You don't want, you do not want that. You want a space. But to help you out, you take your punch, go you fish for the hole. There you go. You will fill it. Once you have the hole, you want to create pressure on the slide and on the punch. And with your hammer, you are going to push that pin in and still holding, creating a little bit of pressure on a punch. And now as the pin is about flush with the slide, it's in the extractor. What you want to do is drive that pin in. I like to take a bit bigger punch for the simple reason that if you slide, you are going to dent your slide. This punch gives you more area and it will stop when you hit that ledge right here. So don't go too hard when you feel you are almost at the bottom. There we go. I felt it. You can see now it's flush with the step of the slide and I'm going to finish it up until it bottoms out with that punch. It will stop at some point in the slide. Now it's in, but not bottoming out. And now I can feel it. It did bottom out. And I can feel it's working. For the firing pin, we put it back into its housing. And if you had the, the block, you leave it right there, you do not touch it. Put the spring back on and we want to put those little caps back on. Same as before, use the slide as your helper. Take one cap, and then take the other. Hold the pressure on the spring, let go of the spring. Gently, of course, you don't want it to fly and you are in. Back in the slide. And to put the back plate in, you need to push the thumb spring assembly down. And I'm going to take the punch. Push it in, slide back plate. That's it. Barrel. And finally, the recoil spring in the slide. And that's it. Back on the frame. Beautiful. Excellent. Until next time, see you guys.